Hello Ant fans, this is the first Ants USA video. I'll make a video most likely every month or less. So be ready for those when you want to watch them. I'm going to talk about ways to uh, keep queen ants warm so that they can lay eggs. And, and I'm also going to be showing off my first ants. I know it might the colony setup so far doesn't look very quality like, high quality, but I'm kind of still working on that, so yeah, it's doing good so far, kind of. Yeah, put cotton ball, put cotton balls in there, not all that. But anyway, uh, you could during the day when it's like bright out, you could open your we leave your window open. So that the sun can shine through and keep the warm the room. That's one way. And you can also do what I did. Is when you find your, get your coin ants from your places. You can make things like this. Like just get like any old square box. Like and get a square box and then get a cardboard box. You're gonna want to cut up the cardboard box into pieces kind of big. Like, do you see that? And then this is uh, my Campanatus queen. She looks like she ate her eggs. If you keep checking on them, they'll eat their eggs, and that's really not good. And that's horrible. Because they freak out. Looks like she's trying to get out. Yeah. Put her back. Because uh, it's all dark. I've already tried to record this once, so. I already messed up, so. I have to be really careful now. Um. Is I think my laziest queen, but oops, oops, but I have no idea. It's really small. Like that's my pinky. It's like a core the size of my pinky. Campanas queens are way larger than normal queens, and it takes about two months for them for their eggs to turn into a larva and uh, uh, workers <laughs> sorry my mistake I'm gonna make tons of mistakes when I'm doing this so please just excuse them this is my other campanas queen she's holding an egg and this is the size compared to my pinky and she looks she's pretty big her her back she looks kind of mad you want to keep them as warm as you can but not so warm that they're cooking like see what I did that's a sweater I put it over another shirt and then that's what I'm keeping them warm with these other ones is probably a way easier and faster way, but that one can hold a lot more ants. I only put, I have five ants, forgot to, I have five queen ants. Sorry to say that, forgot to say that, but now I remembered, so. And then, well, you're just going to want a box, like any old box that you kind of don't, aren't using. So not like, not like one of those boxes. Like this box, I'm, I'm not really using it for anything. Other than uh, queen ants, so what I did was I put I filled it full of socks, and there's a wool sock in there because it's warmer, and I put two queens in here. These are my first two queens. I never moved them out of here. Um, I think of this one ate some of its eggs. A couple times, or once. 
I'm not an expert. I think this is a Lysias Queen, like the other one. Please tell me if I'm wrong in the comments, so. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing. Can't tell if she has eggs or not because of the cotton. But the cotton looks really gross. <laughs> Gonna need to put them into an actual test tube. And I have test tubes now, I forgot to say that. I finally now got test tubes. And so I don't have to use tubes. Okay, so this is my first ant queen. Um, um, I forgot what type she was, but she has a batch of eggs there, kind of blurry probably. She is pretty small, bigger than the other ones, the other two. When I said I didn't know it was called, so I'm really shaky. And, yeah, I'm trying to be super careful with these. Almost dropped it. That was a close. You always have to make sure the cotton doesn't come out. Because that would be horrible if that happened. So, those are the two ways I'm using to keep my coin ants warm. So... You can use those ways, just as like examples. But you can also, if you really want to, you can put a heating cable near them. Probably near like the opposite side the water is at. And so that they can choose where they want their stuff. And also, you need to make sure that, that you don't check on them too often. So, when you're usually starting ant colony, ant farms and stuff, and colonies, and formicariums, uh, it's really, really quite challenging. Because it's really hard to not check on them and be worried about them. Uh, I think I've been checking on them too much. But... Because kind of my first queens, but I don't really have a colony yet. This is what I'm using as a colony so far, but I didn't put anything in it yet. See, there's the smallest area. This isn't attached. And then there's a hole here. And there's a hole right there. Look, there's cotton. And then when one of them, when one of the colonies is old enough or big enough. As enough as worker, as like one to ten worker, or not one to ten, more than ten workers or more, uh, you can put them in here. And what you could do is if your test tubes don't exactly fit into the container, you could use tape and put it around the side of your tubes. I'm getting these ideas from uh, Ants Canada, so make sure to check his channel out too. But you're probably gonna find his channel, live channel from his probably, probably not. I don't know, or maybe this video will be taken down. But no, no. <laughs> and yeah, there is. I put. Uh, if you want to make your own formicarium. Uh, Omni for a carry on thing you have to make sure that they can easily reach the tubes see how it's touching the bottom it has to e it has to touch the bottom of the container 